Hi guys, and good to see you in April. This is Oleg, your real estate broker with William Blavie Commons. Residential real estate market impacted by many different factors. Mortgage interest rates, job securities, numbers of listings available on the market. And today in this episode, we're going to be review those factors and see how they impact uh, sales neighborhoods and where this market is moving. And maybe this will help some people to make decision should they buy house right now or maybe they should wait. Starting in December, mortgage interest rates climbing down. So the climbing down from 7% to 6.28%. You guys can see with me Freddie Mac data for this month, for months of April. And right now, mortgage interest rate 6.28%. It's a general rate. But again, from some bank, you can get even better rate. For example, I received data from PNC just recently, where the short rate for serious fixed mortgages is a 5.875. If you have good credit score, about 720 with 20% down payment. So rates can be different from different lenders. And before we jump into deep Seattle data review, uh, let's take a look uh, what's happening in King County and Snohomish County reference month supply of inventory. You guys can see those uh, orange colors. It's uh, less than two months supply of, of inventory. That means seller's market pretty much everywhere except one location, except West Bellevue. And this slide shows you guys very good market absorption. Uh, you guys can see, for example, a couple of different areas. I'm not going to go through the old cities, but North Seattle, for example, we have 107 active listings and 103 pending sales. Mill Creek, 113 active listings and 162 pending sales. You guys can see generally everywhere market is moving very fast. So market is not slowing down, market actually speeding up. We have a little bit more than one month supply of inventory right now in the market in all those areas, but everything's available in the market and coming in the market, it's selling pretty fast. Speaking of Seattle, I'm going to talk about only those neighborhoods you guys can see with me on the slide. Medium sell price we have right now $870,000, decrease for 10% year over year, and we have 1.1 month supply of inventory in all of those locations combined together. That tells me, guys, we right now in a seller's market in those locations, and we see multiple offer situations. For example, I sold one property last month in Seattle, and we have to compete with other buyers to win, and I was able to help my clients to buy the property, and they got it, but it was multiple play offer situations when I represent the buyer. These slides can show you guys number of listings sold above at or below list price with price changes. And also, I think this slide represent very well hardness of real estate market. You guys can see with me on the screen, we have 33% homes sold above asking price in several locations. And comparable to last month, we had 28% in February was sold about asking price and this month we have more buyers willing to compete with other buyers and we have 19 percent homes sold at asking price and only 20 percent sold below asking price uh, people who have to compete they clearly have to pay about five percent above asking price to win competition and people who negotiate uh, they got for three percent below list price properties so this is like numbers what we have right now for seattle a lot of people on the fence right now who's thinking buy house or not to buy a house because rates increase almost double within one year but these slides can help you guys see affordability level and and maybe help you make decisions should you buy a house or maybe not. If you compare March 2022 to March 2023, minimum sell price in March 2022 was much higher, $970,000. And the minimum sell price in March of 2023 was $870,000 with rates listed here 6.54%, comparable to rates was a year ago 4.17%. The payments actually are slightly higher comparable to a year ago because we have higher mortgage rates, but higher for how much? Higher for $795. Basically, if you translate this to one year, it's higher for $9,543 a year. But question for you, do you think within one year, prices did not increase for more than $10,000 in those locations? Uh, if they increasing right now, 
for last uh, four months starting in December, they increase in about eight to nine percent a month with declining mortgage interest rate. And I'm honestly thinking if this trend is going to be continue like it's going right now, we're going to see by July, maybe by August, same prices we saw in March, in April of 2022. You have to decide right now, should you buy a house or not? Because maybe if you wait until August or September, or maybe you're waiting until your lease expired in August or September, and you're thinking you're gonna be shop for that time for the house. Maybe that's gonna be too late because prices are going to be much higher than today. And uh, with lower interest rate, will be more competition on the market as well. With that, guys, thank you so much for being with me today. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, reach out to me. I will be loved to be your real estate broker and will be loved to represent your interest. With that, guys, have a fantastic week. Until next time.